What's up guys, Ronnie here. Today I'm going to show you in this new tutorial how to add a filter to your frames in Canva. So this is called frame filtering because in the past it was not possible to add an effect or to add a filter uh, once you have positioned a photo in a frame. So let's uh, rewind a little bit. This is the final outcome. Let, let me show you. You can see that, of course, you can add filters to your regular photos, okay, when they are not in a frame. But uh, the, the, the difference is that you can also now add uh, your filters to photos that are in a frame. So let me show you how you do this first. Uh, so here to decompose, to analyze what we can see in front of us here is simply a photo that I've put in the background. OK, so this is this photo here of a sunset. So let me just reproduce this very quickly for you. I position it in the corner, very important, and then I drag this to cover my full frame. OK, and what I did, I just adjusted and got rid of the saturation. OK, so let me show you first how you use filters on a regular photo. So you select your photo, use filter, and then you have a bunch of different filters, kind of like your Instagram filters, uh, something very similar. You can go grayscale, uh, street, different kinds of effects here. OK, uh, but then you can also add a frame to your design. If you go to the element section, add a frame. OK, so this is a frame. I'm going to position this frame right here. And then let's say I want to add the same photo in this frame, this one right here, drop it in the frame. And if you drop it, you will see that it doesn't really correspond to your other image. So the way to make it fit exactly like the other image, but this is not the point of this tutorial. I have another tutorial about this. I will link it uh, right here in the upper right corner. But uh, what I want to show you is once you have adjusted this, going to do it for you guys so you can see how you do this. You have to stretch your image here. So let me escape. So I double clicked on the picture inside my frame and then you have this positioning thing. You can just go uh, left or right if you don't stretch it. But if you do stretch it from a corner, then you will be able to adjust it a bit more. So what I want to do is to make this photo position this photo exactly just like the other one so that it fits like you see this corner right here. I want to make this fit exactly with the other corner and then I will stretch on the other side so that it covers the whole photo. And then when I'm done, I just hit enter. And now we have a matching photo between the background and what's in the frame. But what I want to show you in this tutorial is that you can apply a filter uh, on the photo that is inside the frame. So for this, click on the frame, of course, and then go to your filter. And then you can simply change the different filters of what's inside your frame. So that's the new thing, I would say a tiny detail that you might not have noticed in Canva, but this could make a huge difference if you are using specific filters for your brand or for your images for I don't know, for publishing on Instagram, for example, or if you want to remain consistent with your different photos in a presentation and you use frames to organize these photos, now you can apply filters in frames. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you are watching this tutorial on YouTube or comment if you're watching this tutorial on Facebook. Let me know what else you would love to learn about Canva and I will create more tutorials for you guys. Thank you for watching. This was Ron. I will see you in the next video.